Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged. Some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. First, I'm going to say happy Sunday. Hope everybody had a great day. And y'all, please stay safe. There's a lot going on, okay? Um, Y'all... We got to get back into this Jamie Foxx story because this is real. This is real, real. Okay, y'all, what's going on right in our face? And word on the street is, y'all, is that ever since Jamie Foxx has been in that hospital, he has been in and out of consciousness, y'all. This is what they're saying. They said when he first came in there, he was not responsive, okay? Then he got to a point where he was a little bit responsive, and then he went out again, y'all. And then he woke up again Friday. This is what they're saying. And the crazy part about this whole thing, y'all, is the doctors don't have a clue what's wrong with him. They say that they have been running so many tests and tests and tests and tests and tests on Jamie Foxx. And they don't have a clue what's wrong with him, what, you know, what happened. They don't even know. They don't know, y'all. This is what they're saying. Y'all, who's going to come out that hospital? Seriously, y'all. You know how they be talking about rappers go to prison and stuff like that, and they come back out and they somebody else? Y'all, who's coming out that hospital? Because the word on the street is there ain't going to be no Jamie Foxx, y'all. What the heck happened is the question. Now, they came out with this story today on Fox 5 Atlanta. And it says that at the actor, Jamie Foxx, is still recovering in Atlanta. And the medical issue remains unexplained. Y'all see what I'm saying? They're still saying they have no clue what's wrong with him. Why what happened to him happened to him. They don't know. This is what they're saying. Actor and Oscar winner, Jamie Foxx, 55 years old, is still recovering at an Atlanta medical facility after a medical complication, which reportedly left him unable to communicate nearly two weeks ago, according to various sources. Y'all hear me? Two weeks ago, he has been in and out of conscious, most part out for two weeks, y'all. What the heck happened? And what did they give him? Okay? Now, I want to do something really, really quick. I want to do something. I need to check something real quick. Because this, this is weird, y'all. This is so weird on so many levels. Medical complications. I want to put that in the gematria just to see what pops up, okay? Now, off the top, when you put medical uh, complication in, 111 pops up. And we know that's a sacrificial number that pops up. And it pops up in reverse reduction. Okay, y'all? Um, I want to see what else pops up. Because this is weird, y'all. On so many levels, this is weird, weird. Um, Kersnick Kari Ball pops up, okay? Which we all know that's takeoff. So he, he pops up. We know he was set up. So was somebody trying to line, you know, Jamie Foxx up? It's the question. Um, Children of the Corn popped up, y'all. And y'all, a lot of people always say follow the money. Not saying that his kids will have something to do with taking him out. But a lot of people is talking about, you know, his daughter taking his stage name now. Her name, last name is Fox. And that's not even his real last name. Um, it's a lot of weirdness going on, y'all. Okay? And I want y'all to pay attention to the fact that Jamie Foxx is not married, y'all. So, due to the fact that Jamie Foxx is not married, 
unless he has a will, all his money goes to his children, y'all. He has two children. All his money goes to there. Okay? Um, African shaming ritual pops up under that as well, y'all. Under medical complications. African... That's weird. That's weird, y'all. Let's see what else pops up. The children of the corn tripped me out just now. Because that is... I don't know if y'all ever seen children of the corn. But, um... African shaming ritual. I told y'all they've been trying to make a mockery of him. Because they've been... Everything they're saying now... They're flipping the script to make it seem like his co-star is the victim and he's the one that's you know in the hospital that don't make no sense okay um children of the corn y'all that's a that's a that's weird that that pops up under that children of the corn that movie oh and they remade it y'all for 2023 it's gonna be a new one wow i didn't know that Children of the corn. The children is a fanatical religious cult of young children that obsessively serve the supernatural dark entity known only as he who walks behind the rose and act as the titular main agonistics of the children of the corn film series of the short story children of the corn all i know is when i saw this movie it's a lot of children that's running around taking out parents and that's weird that that just popped up y'all While traveling, an unhappy married couple encounter a cult of murderous children who worship an entity called He Who Walks Behind the Rose. That's weird. Weird. A young couple is trapped in a remote town where a dangerous religious cult of children believes that everyone over age 18 must be taken out children of the corn that's weird that that pops up y'all that's odd i had to just go through that again but the shaming ritual y'all see how they've been trying to talk about jamie fox saying that he you know went pretty much mad on the set so is that what the ritual is about um let's see what else pops up that's weird children of the corn pop up and everybody be like follow the money follow the money and y'all, when I just said follow the money, y'all, guess what else popped up? Be better have my money just popped up. And it, it and, and that came up under 1112. Reverse reduction. Be better have my money. Is this about money, y'all? Jamie Foxx's whole little thing, what happened to him? Is this about money? Ask yourself this question. Now, I was telling y'all about his music career and all this stuff. His movie career, the Disney movies, all this stuff. Who's all behind all of that? Um, basically, uh, everything that Jamie Foxx is almost tied into is tied into Clive Davis, y'all. Um, a lot of people were saying that they were trying to extort him on the set for 33 pounds or whatever they, you want to call it, 33,000 pounds, whatever. Um, y'all, what's going on? B, but I have my money just came up. And y'all, this is what's popping up. This is weird. It's weird, y'all. And know what else pops up, y'all? The calm before the storm pops up. The calm before the storm. I'm wondering, you know, if he do get out of there, is he even going to remember anything of what all he was arguing with people about? You know, um, just everything. Is he even going to remember this stuff? Or is it going to be a blur? As his memory going to be totally gone that he don't even know who he was arguing with who was trying to take him out because word on the street they say that jamie fox um called the police and was saying that somebody was trying to take him out 
Y'all, even the police came to the hospital and they said that. So, so is there an investigation going on right now? Is there an open investigation going on for the police to even show up to the hospital to talk to Jamie? And how are they going to talk to him if he's in and out of conscious? Did he tell somebody in his family? Y'all, something is weird is going on, y'all. It really is. And he has still been in the hospital. He's still in there. And it's two weeks has passed, y'all. He's still in there. And just Friday, they just not said that he's awake. He didn't woke up and now he's alert all of a sudden Friday. But he still might not even be back to himself the way he should be, y'all. It says, model Nicole Murphy told People um, Magazine during an exclusive on Saturday that she is praying that everything will be okay. Wow, y'all, what is going on? Um... A source also told People Magazine on April 21st that Fox is awake and alert and doctors are running tests. They're still running tests after two weeks, y'all. After two weeks, they're still running tests. So nothing is showing up, y'all. Nothing is even showing up of what's wrong with him. That's weird. So it got to be something specific that was put in his system that if they're not looking for it, maybe they can't find it, y'all. That's my thing. I'm just thinking maybe. The incident in Atlanta occurred during the filming of the Netflix movie Back in Action with Cameron Diaz, who now they try to act like is the victim, um, and Glenn Close. And that, remember I told y'all, I told y'all that, you know, be careful that y'all listen to certain people's channels lying, talking about Cameron Diaz been sitting by his bedside for the last two weeks and all of this stuff. Cameron Diaz is not even in the country, y'all. She been out of the country, you know, went to a wedding. Somebody in um one of um what the singer, y'all? What's his name? Nicole Richie and them people. They got married. And her and her husband was at the wedding out the country so how was she by his bedside see th that's why i be telling y'all about these these bloggers be having these fake people calling in lying y'all y'all something is weird about this whole thing it says after a brief pause in filming the production continued with a stunt double and another person standing in for murphy fox was last seen filming on april the 10th the incident did not occur on the set. So, it didn't even happen while he was at the, on the set. Where was he at? Now, word on the street is, he went into the hospital April the 11th. His last day of filming was April the 10th. And they said that when he was on the set, somebody was trying to extort money out of him. He was firing people. They said he fired four people. And one of the people being his driver. Okay, um, so this was the next day after, you know, the last day they said they seen him filming on the 10th. And the next day he was in the hospital. So where was he at when this happened, y'all? Now, daughter Kareen Fox was the first to let fans know about her father's health condition on April the 12th. In that post, she said the Fox family was already on his way to recovery. And I'm going to tell y'all something about that. Um, how can she say that on the 12th? He went in the hot. They say he had whatever. This, this whole little medical thing happened on the 11th. The very next day, she was saying that he was already in recovery. But he's been in the hospital for two weeks. And he has been in and out of consciousness so how the heck could she know? You know, it makes you wonder. It, it, you, and I hate to say this, but, you know, um, is she his new handler, y'all? I'm just saying. Because it seems as if, you know, she was just throwing something out there um, just to get people, you know, to act like it wasn't nothing just happened. This is serious. He's been in the hospital for two weeks. They have been running test after test after test for two weeks. He has been in and out of consciousness for two weeks. Mostly out of conscious, not in. And the very next day, his daughter was on social media pretty much lying, saying that he's on his way to recovery when she didn't know what was wrong with him. So why put that out there, y'all? 
I'm just saying. Something is odd about this whole thing. Who is going to come out that hospital, y'all? Is he going to be himself? Or is he going to be totally messed up, y'all? Like, you know, actors that then came back and comedians that then came back after a big commotion like this. And they don't even act the same. Dave Chappelle don't act the same. Martin Lawrence do not act the same after he had his little medical little issue. Like, people don't come back acting their selves anymore after certain things happen. And, you know, um, if you look at the numerology on this, y'all saw what I put up. There's some weirdness going on about this whole thing, y'all. This whole thing. And a lot of people now is wondering, like, the timing seemed like it's really odd that Martin Lawrence spoke about Fox during, during you know, his week. This week, and he was, you know, doing a little Walk of Fame ceremony on Friday. Lawrence said that he has heard that Fox is doing better and called Fox a good person. <clears throat> Why do keep he keep bringing up, you know, like he's a good person, like they trying to convince us of something? We've never heard anything. Like, we know about the one act symbolism and this and that and that. And this, that stuff has been going on with, you know, um, these celebrities. With this whole, you know, signing away their life for fame and fortune. We know about that type of stuff. And, and we have seen pictures of Jamie Foxx doing these symbolisms and stuff like that. But it doesn't seem like he was knee deep in it the way a lot of other people are knee deep in it. So why every time somebody like um, somebody just walked up on another celebrity and they was like, you know, um, asking her about is he a good person too or something like that. And then now Martin Lauren is, is saying he's a good person. So it just seems weird that they keep throwing that out. Like they trying to like convince us that he's a good person. Like we've never heard nothing really, really bad about him. So why is that such a big thing? Uh, other stars include Tracy Morgan and Steve Harvey. I don't even listen to nothing Stevie Harvey really say. They, but they also wish Fox well. Television host Steve Harvey said he was shocked to find out about Fox hospitalization and his health condition. You don't even know his health condition because we don't even know it. Um, it is unknown at this time what happened to Fox. Few details have been shared and there's been no indication as to when he will be able to leave the hospital and get back to filming. Um, they not even saying when he gonna be released, y'all. He been in there two weeks. <laughs> what is going on with him, y'all? It's also been reported that there have been multiple issues surrounding the production of his latest film, including a meltdown, same thing they said about Martin Lawrence, same thing they said about Dave Chappelle, during which he reportedly fired several people. Why would he have a meltdown and fire four people, y'all? And one of it being his driver. And then he leaves the set. I guess he left the set after this whole commotion happened. And then the very next day, he goes into whatever medical condition that he went into. So if he wasn't on the set, Y'all, what the heck is going on? Okay? I, I don't know why it, I just keep thinking about the wine. Because I, I, I don't know. I keep thinking about that movie. That movie, Black Widow. And she give him that wine bottle and say, I, you know, put it up there for him. I got you a fresh bottle while I'm out of town. Enjoy it, you know. He drinks this wine. He passes away. And she comes back and collect insurance money. You know, and, and, and it, it just keeps making me thinking about... Cameron Diaz because she makes wine, y'all. Did she give him a bottle to take home? Did he go home and unwind with a bottle of wine? And something went down, and then she's gone out the country to a wedding. I'm just saying, y'all. I'm, I'm just thinking out loud, y'all. Allegedly. Okay? But something is weird about this whole thing. Everybody's just back to filming and doing this and doing that. And she talking about she going back into retirement again. And... <clears throat> She don't seem like this is bothering her the least little bit. Because I was looking at her at, you know, they taking little pictures at the wedding and stuff. She's fine with the whole situation. And at the same time, they was also saying that her and, you know, 
Fox kept on bumping heads, y'all. Huh? Jamie Foxx was getting into it on the set, y'all. Although bloggers want to lie. You know, the gossip boy want to lie and bring up fake people. Y'all going to watch it. They going to put it on there. Okay? They say that Cameron Dion sit back his side the whole time. Y'all, who's paying these bloggers off? Seriously. Who is paying these bloggers to lie? Because Cameron Diaz clearly been getting ready for a win for the last two weeks. Going out the country. Kicking it with her friends and her husband and, her, and their kids. They ain't thinking about no Dave... Um, I almost said Dave Chappelle. They ain't thinking about um Jamie Foxx right now. They went to a win kicking it. But somebody wanted us to believe that she was by his side. Ain't never left his side since this whole thing happened. As if she was his wife or something, y'all. What man finna let another day wife sit by somebody else's bed sad for two weeks? Y'all better pay attention to what's going on around y'all and being said to y'all. Because it's a lot of lies going on, y'all. But anyway, y'all, y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. Um, Still praying for them. Don't know if that's going to be who going to return up out of there. Because y'all know. Y'all know when, you know, something is going on, you know, that rabbit hole runs deep, you know, you have to watch everybody. You got to watch the doctors. You got to watch the nurses. You got to watch the everybody because he just might not even come back with his memory or anything. He probably don't even, won't even be able to tell us because I don't see how he could talk to the police. Coming up there to the place when he was in and out of conscious. I don't even see how he can explain to them somebody was trying to take him out. It don't even make sense. How could he sit up, talk to the police, tell them, oh, somebody was trying to take me out on the set, and blah, 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 and then pass back out again. And then Friday, you wake back up again, alert. Y'all, make it make sense. It's, some, it's a lot of lies being told to us about Jamie Foxx right now. And, you know, we, we got to just sit back and wait because only thing we can do is sit back and wait. Because from from the start, the family member started lying, talking about, oh, he on his way to recovery. When they only, the doctors don't have even a clue what's going on with him. So how could the daughter know he was on his way to recovery if the doctors don't even know what's wrong with him? And they still run a test. And he's still in and out of consciousness. Y'all make it make sense. Anyway, y'all, we're going to stay on this story because I, I am curious to find out what's wrong with Jamie. Okay? Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.